it's been a few days since we've been late. Never fear, today we are late. Luckily, the people we're going to see watch the vlog, so they're, they're not expecting us to be on time. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, oh, and we need a quick travel coffee, because I ain't going anywhere without coffee. One thing I was going to just quickly say is yesterday, when I was in London, this worked really well. <laughs> the side pouch for my uh, cannon. Perhaps it does look awful, I'll grant you that. But what it does enable me to do is get a camera out with one hand. I'm a little bit nervous about seeing this, but usually it's okay. Yeah, so what I did want to talk about briefly was space debris. And not specifically space debris, but the similarities between trying to get space debris cleared up and trying to get governments and corporations interested in the idea of clearing it up and climate change. Because there are some serious similarities. We're talking about long-term environmental damage that's going to require a lot of cost and inconvenience to sort out. And the will just isn't there, the collective will. Individually people have the will, but getting the collective will together for certain types of activity can be really hard. And I think that's one of the things that Tesla does brilliantly. Because of their desire to make electric cars not just good for the planet, but also really fun and enjoyable. I mean, that's the problem, isn't it? If medicine tastes like medicine, people don't want it. But if you make medicine taste great, then guess what? That's handy. I remembered to start the climate control remotely because I've been forgetting recently because my phone's been in the summer house acting as the broadband. And the reason I wanted to remember is not actually to warm the car up. I mean, it's not that cold but the battery is quite cold from last night and we've got quite a long way to go. So I'm quite keen to try and get the battery to heat up a little bit and even sort of, you know, five minutes. That'll make a difference. Now we're getting stupidly late. My reputation for unswerving lateness is only going to cover me so far. Oh my word. We made it. And we're only an hour late. So I, I think we're getting better. I personally don't believe that people should have to curtail their energy usage. I think there is more than enough power out there. And the problem is where we're getting it from. You know, get it from, get it from the sun, storing batteries, use as much as you like, all you can eat. So there is no power shortage at all. The shortage is in our vision for actually accessing that power. How many of these factories do we need? And Elon Musk was what we need, 18 factories. I mean, was it 200, but anyway, was it? I think it was yeah. to power a to power a tower, to power the whole world. He's like, oh, that's not that many. It's okay. Yeah. That doesn't sound that bad at all. I'm absolutely looking for that level of commitment from government and from industry because it can be done. I really genuinely believe it can be done, and we can live in a world where we don't have to, you know, penny pinch with the power we use. Yeah and it is relatively cheap and freely available. We just need to take some of this massive industrial might that at the moment is creating the problem and actually direct it towards fixing the problem it creates. Right here. Look. Hello, cat. I like it. Smoke alarm. Oh. And what can you do with this? Yeah, so... That turns the temperature off. I've seen it turn yeah, it off until 10.30. Because at 10.30, you've got like a schedule set up. Yeah, yeah. So you can set where it goes. Um, and you set it to whatever you want. When you leave the house, because it's all connected to your mobile, it's nice. the heating turns off because it knows you're in the house. Oh, really? And when you get back to the house, it turns back on again. That is clever. And obviously, the whole point of it all, it's all controlled from here. So you've got the camera there, which isn't on. And when you leave the house, the cameras turn on. Fantastic, like security cameras. Yeah, yeah. Good so stuff. if I say that we've gone, a, if I say that we've gone away, did you manually. add all of this in yourself? Or yeah, was it yeah, in the house? yeah, yeah. So now that's turned off onto oh, leaf mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the cameras have turned on. Oh yeah. Fantastic. And the smoke detector says that everything's oh. all okay because it checks it like twenty oh, times a day. Oh, I them like back. it. I, I want one. I'm hiding, definitely going to have to think about this. 
This is all Google, isn't it, Nast? Yes. Because everything else he has Wait, is Apple. Yeah. So yeah. But it all works together, Apple? so it's happy. Do Apple do something like this? Careful, quick. Testing smoke. This is that. To find you. Okay, where is Jack? Because up, I mean, downstairs that light is always on. We don't well, just for the party lights. Yeah, but because it, it senses when you're around and when you're not. So if you don't have it linked up to your mobile, then as you walk through the front door, this will sense that you've come home, and then the heating will turn back on again without you actually touching it. Uh, so, or if you don't have one of these installed, the cameras know that you're home, which turns this the heating back on. But it works better when you do it on your mobile proxy. But upstairs, where we don't have a light on in the landing, if you want to go for a pee in the middle of the night. You walk past these things and the light turns on on it, so it, it lights the uh, lights the hallway for you. Oh, nice! Like emergency light test. I like the effects they've got on this, the, the graphics. So that says that we've had the heat on for four hours today, and then you can see you can go back in time and see how much we've used. Last week we had a lot because it was cold and we had my family around. <laughs> we had like kids running around everywhere, and then you can just see like so that day we didn't use very much heating at all. So that probably just came on in the afternoon. Um, Three. You can see, oh, there you go, you can see oh, when it actually was used. Um, you've got all the settings on it, and that's the, the schedule. So you can see now when it turns on and turns off every day. So the next thing it's going to do is it's going to go down to 13 degrees at about half past 10 tonight. Right. So, so overnight it goes down to 13. Um, then it stays off until the morning when it comes on at 10 o'clock in the morning and heats the house up to 7 to 19. Now at 10, 15 in the morning, the heating doesn't kick in, it sets it, it knows how big the house is, it knows how long it takes to heat the house, it's learned, and it will start heating the house probably about maybe 7 o'clock in the morning to get make sure the house is at 19 degrees for that time. That is so clever. Um, yeah, and then it'll go, it'll go back down to 13 at 9, 4, yeah, about 9.45 in the evening. Um, yeah, but all that all kind of works better actually on the app. Very rarely do you actually have to yeah. touch this. It's a lot easier to see the schedule. Yeah. You can see what when it turns on, when it turns off. So at weekends it turns on a little bit later because you have a lion, and it turns off a little bit later. The history, and now you can see it's a bit of an easier way yeah. to, to view it. And it tells you why the heating has been lower or higher. So this day here, Wednesday the 16th, it says that there's not a lot of heat going on. And the, there's a little icon there showing uh, a picture of the away logo, which means that we weren't in the house most that day. Right. So the heating was off most of the day because we weren't in the house. It's really clever. Whereas that day, the heating was on quite a lot on Friday the 18th. And the cloud there shows that it's because the day was quite a cold day, so that it knows what the weather is. Right, yeah. So is it because we know where this nest is installed. It look, Google looks it up on the uh, internet as to what the weather's like, and because it's too cold here, it says that the weather was cold, which is why that icon comes up. And the next one, obviously, uh, it's got a little picture of a, a human being, because we manually turn the heating up all day because we were in the house all day with, uh, with friends and family. Again, we've got on the Tuesday the 22nd, there's a big away symbol there, it's because I was in work all day, and Alina was in London all day. Oh, it's, like just, it's clever, it's clever, I like it. There's, there's better systems you can get. Um, yeah, but I like the swishiness of it all. I call me old fashioned, but I like the swishiness. <laughs> the poor cat. Yeah, do you think the cat's had enough now? <laughs> that is the most amazing cat. Good boy. He's really good. Good cat. Good cat. No, you don't pick him up again. Okay, pick him up again. I think the cat's probably done with that. Okay, why don't you go on the sofa? That's quite cool. Yep. Yep, I've, I've got nest envy. <laughs> I absolutely love this watch. It does absolutely everything. So if you're just listening to some music. Yeah, because it links in. That's what we were saying about Apple versus Google. The Apple ecosystem is very yeah. good. If you don't mind breaking a bank. Yes, that's true. And also you don't mind being incompatible with everything else. Absolutely. But it's yeah. so well integrated with everything they do. That's what adds the value that makes these something like a smartwatch actually worth having. Because Google just don't, they don't have that level of integration yet. Often. Great dancing! So 
safe and sound now and uh, well Jasper's actually still in the car fast asleep so I better make this quick because I need to take him up to bed because it's late. So I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog post and found it interesting. If you did remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Let's hit the road. So Jasper whose fault is it that we're late? <laughs> no, you're right, it's not you, is it? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's Mummy's fault. Perfect. That was the answer that we were hoping for. <laughs>